Joe Sambrick, West Central Distribution Tech Development. Um, I'm over here again at uh, Collinsville, Illinois, about 40 minutes uh, east of, of St. Louis at a uh, Palmer Amaranth site. Uh, this is resistant Palmer pigweed. I uh, wanted to come back here and uh, show you uh, what, what has transpired in the last five days. So today's Monday, May 22nd. Uh, it's been five days since I was here. Uh, this weed now has gone from just a uh, couple leaf to uh, now about five leaf and it's now I'd say an inch and a half tall. Uh, it's uh, been relatively cool yet. Uh, we're supposed to get some 80 degree temperature here uh, next week or later this week and this weed's really going to take off now and grow very very rapidly. But one of the key uh, identifying characteristics of a uh, Palmer amaranth versus other amaranth species is the uh, length of the petiole. So I'm going to take uh, this leaf right here. I'm going to take that off. Hopefully that shows up well in the uh, video. And we'll take that uh, off at the petiole. Uh, the petiole is basically the same length as the, uh, as the leaf itself. So hopefully you can see that. If you fold that petiole over, you will see that it is essentially the same the same length as the leaf itself. So that is a one key uh, identifying characteristics uh, versus say a, uh, a water hemp uh, amaranthus type species. So we'll, uh, we'll keep uh, an eye on this uh, weed as it develops here. Uh, but um, as I said earlier, it's gonna get warm here. This one, this weed's really gonna take off and grow very rapidly. Uh, so that's all from here, uh, reporting uh, Joe Sambrink. Thank you.